Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Welcome back to my channel, honey. I almost had this whole conversation on mute, but if you are still listening, honey, we got some of this Tiffany Red uh, versus Beyonce tea that we got to spill, right? So uh, for the past couple of days, um, the blogs have been talking about a couple of Instagrams, um, uh, you know, conversations that Tiffany had with her subscribers concerning Beyonce, um, and not only Beyonce, but how um, uh, little the songwriters are, are being paid, right? So she went in on Beyonce because she said Beyonce um, is the queen and that if, if Beyonce starts to pay, basically pay her people, her songwriters fairly, um, other people will follow suit, right? And so, you know, she said all this about Beyonce, but she's actually never worked with Beyonce. Um, she said a lot of the stuff that some other people were saying, you know, about Beyonce and people got it mixed up assuming that um, she was wanting, you know, she felt like she deserved something from Beyonce, but she never worked with Beyonce, right? So, but my thing is, I really think what's going on with Tiffany Red in this situation, and I'm not saying that she's said anything wrong when it comes to songwriters, you know, across the board, we have all heard um, how little songwriters, not only uh, like screen actors, we know that there was just a Screen Actors Guild strike, um, I don't know if the strong if the songwriters are unionized or not, but perhaps if they are unionized, they ought to go the same route as the screen actors, you know, did because they held tough and they got a uh, they got a lot of what they wanted from the strike, right? So anyway, um, and plus, uh, Tiffany Red is a bit of an activist um, when it comes to songwriters. Um, and things going and other things going on in the industry. So I believe that she's telling the truth when she says that people are coming back to her, you know, saying, you know, A, B, and C, and D about how little, uh, you know, Beyonce pays the, uh, the songwriters, um, how she makes them sign the NDA. You know, it, it's plausible that people are coming back and saying that to her, right? Um, but my thing is, she's never worked with Beyonce, so how would she know? Right. Which leads me to believe that the real reason she's going after Beyonce um, is because of Cassie. Right. Now, we know that uh, I don't know if you guys heard it, but um, she was doing an interview either uh, online. She was talking about it or she did an interview, something like that. Right. But it came out that I don't even know if it was her that brought it out. Cassie might have brought it out. But it came out that. Um, allegedly, there was a party one night, uh, and Jay Z and Beyonce were there, and um, you know, uh, you know, Jay Z and Beyonce were there. A lot of other people was there. It was a party, right? And so all of a sudden, Diddy starts going off. He starts pulling her by the hair, and Beyonce um, got uh, you know uh, Cassie out of there, you know, and she took her somewhere where she would be safe, right? And so, but I think because of that. Uh, and I also heard them saying that they don't believe that Beyonce did enough. And I'm thinking, what is it exactly that Beyonce was supposed to do? I mean, you know, she got Cassie the safety, you know, and then after that, um, it was on Cassie, you know, did what, you know, for her to do what she had to do, you know, because of this attack, right? So, but because of that, I think that is why Tiffany Red is really going after Beyonce. I don't think it has nothing to do. Um, with, you know, any unfair practices uh, coming from Beyonce and screen actors and, uh, song, and songwriters. We've all heard this for a long time. There was one incident um, when she was uh, doing the, you know, she was allegedly taking, you know, songs from African artists when she was doing um, Break My Soul. I, I think that was the name of the, I don't know if that was the name of the album, but it was the song in which that Break My Soul was on, right? So they said that about her then, but you gotta realize that is uh is Beyonce, you know, over the managerial team? Is she, you know, nitpicking when it comes to the managers and how the managers, you know, you know, do the dealings? You know, you, uh, is, is it really on Beyonce? Is she really worrying about that? You know, is it is it really? Uh, uh, she got people for that, right? So like I said, I don't think that Tiffany read. Um, is coming after Beyonce on behalf of, of songwriters. I think that she's coming um, after Beyonce um, on behalf of Cassie. 
right? Like I, I really do. We know that her and Cassie are really good friends. Um, and you know, uh, even um, Tiffany, you know, had something to say about you know an incident that happened at a party one night. And it's amazing to me that you're this angry Beyonce, but you didn't do more either. You didn't even call the police. But anyway, this article states that Red, talking about Tiffany Red, a Grammy-winning singer-songwriter um, who has written songs for Zendaya, Joe Jonas, Jason Derulo, Tamar Braxton, and among others, never Beyonce, right? Because she admitted to never be writing for Beyonce, remains a close friend of Ventura's first meeting while working um, on the singer's never released second album right and so we heard that the second album was never released because it wasn't finished and also um allegedly diddy wouldn't even work on the album unless unless cassie performed the fo right and so it says the night of it the night of Ventura's party um tiffany red um recalls feeling helpless and scared as she watched Combs scream and curse at ventura Red says she attempted to intercede on Ventura's behalf when an intoxicated and furious Combs um, demanded Ventura leave with him. She says um, she says she was later disturbed to the um, uh, to the core. She was disturbed to the core. She was shook to the core, y'all, when she says she's learned um, what took place when Combs drove off with Ventura into the night. Right, that's what she says about one incident. There's no mentioning of her calling the police, making a police report, asking them to go look for her or anything, right? But like I said, when it comes to Beyonce, Beyonce did manage to get at her, uh, at her out of there. And you got to realize, too, that when it comes to Beyonce, um, is Beyonce in some sort of gilded cage herself? Uh, because we know that Jay-Z um, has, you know, even... Um, claimed that he met Beyonce was re he was she was really young she was between I believe they said 15 and 17 years old and um he was like 28 or something they said and Diddy was uh like 30 something when he met Cassie right so we know that him and Diddy have been close friends for a long time so what really could Beyonce do except get her out of there that's what I want to know but y'all I believe that is the reason why Tiffany Red um, is throwing shots at Beyonce. She's not throwing shots at Beyonce uh, because of the way the, the songwriters are treated when it comes to Beyonce dealing with them. In my opinion, she's never worked personally um, with Beyonce. So really, what is your ulterior motive? So the ulterior motive, in my opinion, is her relationship with Cassie. You know, and that's what I believe. Uh, I'm standing on it, and, and that's what I got to say allegedly, right? So anyway, y'all let me know my theory down in the comment section below uh, please like share and subscribe when you hit that like button uh, when you hit that subscribe button I'm sorry please hit the bell so that you will be notified when I drop another video so I'm gonna talk to you guys later bye bye peace